गाइस वेलकम टू माय चैनल द एक्चुअल क्वेस्ट आई एम आंचल योर एक्चुअल मेंटोर एंड अ क्वालिफाइड एक्चुअली एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू व्हाई ऑल दीज चैलेंजेस फेस्ड बाय अ स्टूडेंट एक्चुअली आर कंप्लीटली वर्थ इट सो इन माय अर्लियर वीडियो आई गिव यू अ फ्यू चैलेंजेस ऑफ परस्यूइंग एक्चुअल साइंस In today's video I am going to give you six good reasons why irrespective of all these challenges I love being an actuary. So if you are still confused whether or not you want to pursue actuarial science, I am pretty much confident that this video full of my biased opinion towards actuarial science is definitely going to convince you. But yes, as I always say, before rushing in, do your research and make sure that you find your own interest in this profession as much as I do so that it keeps you going and motivated throughout your actuarial journey. Anyway, keep watching to know all the good things about actuarial science. Yes, it is true. You need to clear too many exams to become an actuary and this whole process may consume a lifetime. But isn't it a big relief that you don't need to be a fully qualified actuary in order to start a real actuarial job? As I've told you earlier as well, you can start with an actuarial job just by clearing two to four exams, and then you can study for rest of the exams alongside your job. This gives a side-by-side -side practical exposure and real-life application of whatever you are studying. And I don't think we have any professions with such kind of a study pattern. With other professions, if you are not qualified, you can only work as an intern with no or little stipend. But with actuarial science, you can earn big even before qualifying. And I think students these days look out for such professions where they can start earning and become independent in short term. like to achieve things quickly and long term courses don't appear good to them well actuarial science is a long term profession but with the advantage of being able to earn as well alongside the actuarial employers want you to clear actuarial exams and to support you they provide you with study leaves they pay for your exams they provide you salary increment upon clearing exams do we get such kind of a support in any other profession i think it is a unique perk of pursuing actuarial science the actuarial profession pays you for studying like i can't think of a better incentive or motivation to study than this let's talk facts i think 40% of the students are not aware of actuarial science out of rest 60% about 50% of them don't want to pursue actuarial science because either they are scared of the maths involved or they want to pursue other professions which are more commonly known so once you qualify you become a rare diamond so now you can assess why qualified actuaries are perceived to be intelligent i think the kind of work that actuaries do and the technical exams that they go through involve a lot of logical mindset and complex thinking which is why actuaries have no option but to call themselves super intelligent than the others to give you a feel of how intelligent actuaries are listen carefully okay as actuaries we can talk about the probabilities of different possible but unknown scenarios that might happen in future and we can connect these probabilities to the extent of loss that might happen and then we build methods to protect big companies from these losses so yeah to cut short actuaries are intelligent every actuarial subject has a unique value to add as a result actuaries develop great understanding of wide subject areas like insurance market finance investments macroeconomics to name a few actuaries also have good coding and programming skills and also sometimes have the knowledge of data science and automation and because as actuaries we need to explain the complex calculations that we have done and the results in a very simple easy to understand language to non actuarial owners of the company hence we also possess good communication skills we have a separate actuarial subject dedicated to communication so now you can imagine how important it is for actuaries to have good communication skills now if i sum up all the different skills and knowledge that actuaries develop 
either as a result of their exams or as a result of the actual work exposure or maybe through the curious exploring kind of actual mindset i would proudly call actuaries all rounder from salary standpoint i would say that the actuarial profession paid me reasonably well since the time when i was a fresher till the date today when i am an experienced actuary it's not easy for everyone to study for such a long duration that too along with a full time job and then pulling yourself back up together in case an exam doesn't go well which happens quite frequently but all these efforts do not go waste because first it is giving you a good respectable job and skill set and secondly the monetary compensation is also fairly good in india you can expect a fresher salary between 5 to 6 lakhs which keeps increasing as and when you keep clearing exams and you keep gaining experience by the time you qualify your pay reaches 20 to 30 pay reaches 20 to 30 to even 40 lakhs which again eventually keeps on increasing as you keep gaining experience and expertise i think i've shared with you a lot around the traditional areas where actuaries are involved like insurance of course then pensions investments risk management banking etc but the topic which has grabbed all my attention and curiosity these days is actuaries beyond traditional areas i attended the virtual actuarial conference hosted by iai this year and there was a superb session on this particular topic which influenced me to explore other creative areas where actuaries can work like i can name a few of them now energy gas trading tokenomics blockchain insure tech and hedge funds let me know if you are interested in the non traditional actuarial work probably i'll research more around these topics and probably make a separate video on whatever i learn anyway to summarize what i learned from that session the skill set that actually is develop like numerical skills analytical skills coding skills modeling skills problem solving skills communication skills and risk management skills all these skills are more than enough to expand into the non traditional areas it just needs the motivation the willingness to take risk willingness to learn new stuff and to have a open mindset and then you can apply your actuarial skills in a lot of areas experienced qualified actuaries are in demand professionals because first they are less in number and second their skill set is highly valued Actuarial science is a global profession. Even if you qualify from the Indian Actuarial Institute, you will be recognized around the world. As IAI is a member of the International Actuarial Association along with many other actuarial institutes of other countries, so if you become a fellow member of IAI, you will be eligible to apply for fellowship with other actuarial institutes. and then you can work and settle in any part of the world. Hence it's a globally recognized profession. I could give you endless reasons of why I like being an actuary but then nazar lag jayegi Okay fine the actual reason is the attention span of viewers these days hence to not bore you I had to stop it here but on the note that I am a proud actuary Anyway I'll be back with more informative videos on the actuarial profession so do subscribe to this channel and do give this video a thumbs up if you found it interesting or useful Signing off for now. We'll be back soon.